So here's two citations Craig badmouthing some Christian philosopher for dropping names in lieu of an argument, a cardinal sin, which he goes on to justify by some quote. Now, Professor Ludemann is not a philosopher. He's a New Testament theologian. And his procedure here of merely dropping names of famous philosophers is sadly all too typical of theologians. Thomas Morris, a Christian philosopher, comments in his book, Philosophy and the Christian Faith, what is particularly interesting about the references theologians make to Kant or Hume is that most often we find the philosopher merely mentioned, but we rarely, if ever, see an account of precisely which arguments of his are supposed to have accomplished the alleged demolition. In fact, I must confess to never having seen in the writings of any contemporary theologian the exposition of a single argument from either Hume or Kant or any other historical figure for that matter which comes anywhere near to demolishing historical Christian doctrine or theological realism. Wow, there you go. According to two citations, Craig, dropping names without any argument is in the realm of a mere theologian, presumably implying that no serious philosopher would make such sloppy and sophomoric argument. So let's see how a professional philosopher tackles the substance of this theologian's argument directly after chastising him for the clear philosophical impotence of merely dropping names with all of the arguments detached. Take it away, two citations. Or theological realism. Hume's argument against miracles was already refuted in the 18th century by Paley, Ross, and Campbell. And most contemporary philosophers also rejected as fallacious, uh, including such prominent philosophers of science as Richard Swinburne and John Ehrman, and analytic philosophers such as George Mavrodis and William Alston. Even the atheist philosopher Anthony Flew and Holy shit. And his procedure here of merely dropping names of famous philosophers is sadly all too typical of theologians. Humiliation.